Today we are doing a rehouse, but it is not the rehouse that I promised. What I promised you was a rehouse of these two tarantulas. One is Gramostola Puchra and the other one is Gramostola Acteon. I have a reason why I'm postponing these rehouses. The reason might seem weird at first, but trust me, it all makes sense. This is the reason why I'm postponing the rehouse, the backgrounds, and to be more precise, I dislike the appearance of the backgrounds that I'm currently using, while at the same time, I don't want to use the old backgrounds because of that. They are made from styrofoam, but you see, uh, not a tarantula like this Gramostola pulchra can easily chew through it exposing the white styrofoam which looks absolutely disgusting and you get styrofoam all over the enclosure that you cannot really clean which is something that I don't want to have I want to have a nice background but it is also a functioning background let me show you the example of the background that I'm currently using but I dislike the appearance this is a monocentropos balfouria enclosure or communal enclosure and this is the background that I'm talking about it is also made out of styrofoam but that styrofoam is covered with glue for tiles which hardens and then it is painted over to make like a prettier texture and it doesn't look terrible but it is just not naturalistic enough and I prefer the look of my older background so I just wanted to figure out a better solution for my gramostolas and now I think that I have like the best from the both world let me explain this right here is if you remember an old bonitas enclosure and she unfortunately passed away so it is empty but look what I have inside this background is actually my first attempt at the tile for glue technique you see it is a carved styrofoam that is then covered with the glue for tiles but as you can see I didn't paint it over it was just lightly brushed with a black paint but that's it so my idea is what if I now instead of painting it over I use the old technique of background building I cover it with black silicone and then dump dry dirt on it that way I get the sturdiness of this design tarantula won't be able to nibble the edges and create holes but in the same time I will get the appearance of nice naturalistic background with dirt and such yeah I think that that will work the only thing is, this is a large enclosure and I need some big tarantula for it, right? Well, you are right, and I have tarantula just for that. And it is this one right here, Anandu Tripepi. She definitely got the needed size for that enclosure. Just look at her, <laughs> look at this size. This is a 30 by 25 by 25 enclosure and she is filling it up really, really good. And you see the background? Yeah, that's the, the same problem. She's just peeling the silicone off, exposing the styrofoam and that looks terrible 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 now let's grab a roach and feed her before we start with the build one huge roach from this enclosure look there is a lot and i need to use them they are too big for despacito and basically the only other tarantula that can eat them are terraforza so i don't really have other tarantulas that can feed on this okay hey hey you have one butterfly coming <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even manage to get the proper shot or anything. Just like all other Nandos, she's not messing around when it comes to feeding. Woo! Let me just drop a microphone right here so we can maybe hear some cracks. Next time I need to have microphone prepared immediately. Because on the takedown you get the most cracks. Whoa, 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 okay now. I will need to do a time jump because I realize that I'm out of black silicone and it is Sunday today so stores don't work. Um, I was switching lens on this camera and I forgot to press record again so I will need to recreate this last clip. So yeah, pretend you didn't notice. It will take a day for me time jump but for you it is instant because of the magic of the editing and also I figure out that I don't need to buy the black silicone because this black glue that I use for plastic parts it's also safe so we are just going to use that but before we start with the background we need to get all the substrate out and clean the enclosure a bit you know since Bonita died inside from unknown reason I don't want to risk to have any contaminants inside that can potentially harm the Nando Tripepi. Better safe than sorry. And also, my hands will probably be super itchy after this because of the Terraforza hairs in the substrate that are actually getting airborne now from what I can see. Not good! Oh, can you hear the frogs? This is the first time that I hear them calling during the recording of video. <laughs> Let me see if I can see who is calling. I think that it is this one here. Yep. Is this one? And you see uh, Dendrobata sauratus is nearby without any problem. 
So who are you calling? There is no female nearby. Maybe the female will come, we will see later. One final scoop and we are done and I can definitely feel the itchiness on my hands. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to clean all the sides with some alcohol and we can proceed with the background. I think we have a different frog calling now. Yeah, you see it is this one now. Uh -huh. Well, there is another one in the middle. So is this maybe a female that both males are competing? Interesting, right? <laughs> okay, but regardless, we have this thing to deal with now. Urgh. I need something to support the, the door. These enclosures will do. Oh yes, perfect. You see how multi-practical they are. This is an easy and straightforward job. I just put the silicone or in this case a glue across the entire background, smear it all with the glove and then get a dry substrate across the entire thing, a dry dirt. So let's just, okay. This bead of glue is way too small. I'm just going to remove this and get glue directly from this hole. It will be easier like this. And not to mention faster, much faster. Oh, but I used all the glue. Will this be enough? That's the question. Honestly, I'm not sure. But just in case I will get a new batch. I want to have it ready just in case. Okay, smearing time. Okay, definitely a good call that I prepared more glue because there is a lot of details on this background so it uses a lot of glue, a lot of nooks and crannies, crevices and whatnot. So a little bit here and I will need to use this extension for smaller bead to get in the corners of the enclosure where background meets the enclosure. <music> Okay, I'm pretty sure that I covered everything, so we can proceed with next step, which is the dry dirt, the fun part. Because all that we do is dump this dirt across the entire thing. The dirt adheres to the glue and we get a nice background with that. You just need to make sure that you cover everything and that the dirt is super dry. That way you get a better adhesion. Okay, there we go. Now we push everything to compact it and simply let it cure for a day. So time to jump and the day has passed so it should be more or less dry. So let's check it out. But I will still give it one more day before I actually add the tarantula. Probably not necessary. Whoa, a lot of dust. Probably not necessary, but as I said, I want to be extra careful. Well, 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 just look how much better this looks in comparison with the previous look. Just so much better. I guess you can tell why I prefer this. And it would actually look even better if I incorporated a cork inside, like a flat cork piece. Yeah, I definitely want to step up my enclosure design game. Especially now as I'm downsizing the number of tarantulas I have in the dark den, I want all enclosures to be top notch. So you can expect a lot more of this in the future. I want to save all of this excess dry substrate because I'll need it for future builds. And I wasn't sure if I want to add the drainage layer or not, but now I decided that I will do it. I think that I'm slowly switching back to drainage layer. I haven't used it in my builds for quite a while, but now I think that after all they are beneficial. I did some changes to make sure of it. A mesh to separate it from the substrate and we are all set. Time for a substrate. I made a fresh batch just to be sure that I don't run out of it. Because this is a huge enclosure, you see. And this is a big cork bark that we will use for the hide. Something like this, a big nice open height so we can even see tarantula inside. That is at least my idea. Now for the plants I want to have two. One will be this one. You see that is falling from all the way up here. This is actually where the plants start and it got nice flow all the way down. So I want to recreate that right here. To plant it here and have it fall down like somewhere here. That is if tarantula don't destroy it immediately, of course. And I have it prepared right here. Hopefully the roots already developed. So let me just dig it out. Ah uh, yeah, these are all roots, sweet. And the second one is unfortunately growing. As a joke, I put it inside of this. I didn't really expect that I will use it someday. 
but now you see it is inside of the the mass so maybe i will need to take like a portion of mass too yeah something like that <laughs> let's bring all this back so these will be first right there and second plant i am not sure if i will be able to just pull it out but i want to get the stem out of this so let me see how it is growing yeah, it is like spreading from here and also somewhere here maybe i can just pull all of this because you see there are roots everywhere technically it should be fine it spread too much anyway <laughs> yeah now there is a hole and just look how frogs are checking out for food you know whenever you disturb the area fruit flies always start to move because fruit flies are basically everywhere they're just not moving that much all right let's see how to pull this off first this one in the corner one right beside it just like that and also i'll add some moist substrate from the junglearium same thing here in this corner some moist substrate a magical junglearium substrate and a plant just like that and just for the decoration now i will put these plants i don't really expect that they will survive but i basically have an infinite amount in the junglearium so why not a very important leaf litter together with plants they make any enclosure infinitely better oh yeah now this wouldn't be a proper dark dead enclosure without any sand for the texture right a texture is definitely needed here here on the corner yes here on top a little bit and here also here he hit last just like that yes it is no longer the same plain texture on the substrate but now it is actually so fresh Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. so just compare it this is before the sand for the texture and this is after sand for the texture i would say looking much better hell yeah plants need some water to make sure they root really good so here and here now i'm gonna let it air out for a day and then we can add the springtails and the tarantula so time to jump and it is done so let's get the tarantula and I actually recorded her as she was feasting on the roach so maybe i can also show you that footage right <laughs> don't worry after she left the roach she went back to it but i stopped the recording so maybe we can actually find the leftover <laughs> this is all that i see but it is a bit too small so maybe it is somewhere in her hide we need to poke her anyway to get her to move hello hello yes 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 that is not food i'm sorry no food no food just a stick a poking stick a nice poking stick where is the roach left over come on it needs to be somewhere this this really cannot be it no this is some other roach for sure we need wings and stuff you didn't eat the wings right there's no way huh okay let me figure out how to get her out maybe the easiest would be to get her out maybe on my hand okay okay yes yes no well this is a bit awkward <laughs> look at this position you are not an arboreal tarantula i'm sorry to inform you but yeah we need to move such a weird position oh, seriously no 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 don't throw gently your hairs okay okay here you go my gentle giant i made this just for you Ooh. what do you say you like it like it Ooh. yeah i think she definitely likes it Let's see if i can get some cool picture no 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 don't move now no now you're not in a good position for a picture Arr. pokey 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 yeah go back there stop <gasps> perfect Ooh, and we can have a nice look at the fuzz yeah so pretty so pretty and look at this after two days 
all of this has dried as i said it will dry it needs a lot of humidity and only these that are directly on the wet substrate survived while the rest dried off but the other two plants are holding well as you can see yeah looking good so far so i think that it is safe to say that we are done with this rehouse i am really satisfied with how this turned out and for next video you can expect a double gramostola rehouse and also i have a couple more rehouse that i definitely need to do look at this this pamphobeteos freshly molted and oh, look how gorgeous she is she definitely needs a better and bigger enclosure while this pamphobeteos is i think in a pre-molt and after a molt she will also definitely need a new enclosure so yeah i need to build a lot of enclosures and despacito what is up as i was recording this video he was constantly making noise as he used to do but since he's in this different room i don't think that you can hear it but i definitely could the entire time and look at this the arboreal tarantula is back in action where are you going now back to destroying backgrounds and plants huh you have a hide so hide now isn't that what tarantulas do <sighs> anyhow before i end this video i received one fan letter so let me open that and by the way if you want to send me something you have to do it soon because i think that once again i won't be able to use my my fan address it is from eric and taylor and this is a a nice drawing that his daughter drew for me although it partially got wet in transit but it doesn't matter thank you for for it and she is back on the move <laughs> i am glad that she's going down anyhow i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you want to support this channel more there's a patreon page and a web shop where you can buy merch and enclosures and stuff for them i upload on monday so see you again really soon bye <laughs>